Hi, Taryn. Thank you so much for speaking to us today about your tour that you provide. Um, so just to start with, uh, please will you give us a bit of a description about the tours that you provide? Okay, yes. Well, hello, Fiona, by the way, as well. Nice to, nice to meet you. Um, yes, we've, got, we've actually um, got two, two boats. We operate from Cairns and we've got two reef trips. Um, I think the big thing about us, we're all about the personal boutique style sort of um, reef trip. So we're dealing with low numbers. So we have two boats. Ocean Free is um, a 16 meter schooner and carries up to about 25 passengers. And that goes to a kilometer off Green Island. So you've got your private little reef that you can snorkel in the morning, have lunch on board the best and then in the afternoon you can hop into a tender and we take you across to the island. So that's um, a nice little tour for people who perhaps don't want to stay all day on a boat and they get the chance to see the reef um, but also get to spend some time on a tropical beach and a tropical island. And of course the bonus with that as well it's a proper sailing boat so we do switch the engines off and sail home and provide food all day and on the sail home have a glass of wine some cheese and crackers and fruit so it's a great day really for you know your families your youth and even your active retirees so it's um if i had to say it's it's a sail reef and beach sounds like something to eat doesn't it but it's, <laughs> it's, it's not that so it's, it's a really great all-round little trip and it's a day trip so you know it we take about two hours to get to the reef we have four and a half hours between the reef and the island and lots of in-water service so like if you're not comfortable in the water it's no problem our crew will jump in and and take you snorkeling and then after four and a half hours we sail sail home and get get back to cairns at about five so that's the ocean free that's one little that's the one we've had um for many years we've been operating that since 1995 and then in 2008 we got a slightly bigger boat different different style it's a 20 meter cruiser and it's a much faster boat and that goes to um, two very different reef sites. We go to a place called um, Upolo Reef, which is a uh, wonder wall. It's a beautiful wall where you can, it drops about 10 to 12 meters, but you can snorkel on the top. So you have about like, um, goes up to about five meters on the top. And so you can see it's perfectly snorkeling. But if you're doing diving, which we also offer, you can drop down to about 10 to 12 meters. So we don't offer, you know, there's some other boats out there that offer, you know, deep diving and wall diving, like current diving and all that. We're all about the 10 to 12 meter conservative diving, very beautiful. You've got the light, you've got the colors and you've got all the tropical life, obviously at that depth as well. And so that one will um, take about an hour and a quarter to get to its first reef destination. And the big point of difference, I guess, for that trip is we have um, six hours of actual reef time. So a very different, there's a lot of boats go out there and have anywhere, like, anywhere from like two to, to, to five hours, but we actually have six hours, so no rush in the day. So if you're a little bit relaxed, <laughs> um, we can spend um, two hours at one site, four hours at another site, or three hours at one site. It depends on the people we have on the day and what they seem to be enjoying. So we have the wall on one site, which is really beautiful. And then uh, later we go to a place called Upolu K Reef, which is very special. The water, actually, you can see my turtle, it's it's looks like that it's a very it's a shallow reef site but very pretty it's a coral garden so you can see you know turtles and stingrays and depending on the tide sometimes you can be standing you know chest deep other times it's so totally submerged but you've got this beautiful blue waters but on other days you know you've got this beautiful coral cave that appears from nowhere so and on days like that we can actually get people to land on the coral cay. And so you're just in this little coral cave with nobody around in the middle of the ocean. So it's a really great trip. So that, that's a, a really good trip for those people wanting lots of water time. They want to spend a lot of time and we have an adventure drift snorkel tour where you get into the dinghy and we take you up a wall and you do a drift snorkel back. And also we have, um, again, snorkel tours for people who are not very comfortable in the water, but we have a glass bottom boat as well so that's all included in the price as well as all the lunch so we don't have any hidden extras except for maybe the drinks that you want to purchase on board and uh, the diving is an optional extra yeah. and with the diving um as well done on a personal scale we have um a thing called introductory diving so you don't have to have a ticket if you haven't had you know if you can't dive as long as you're medically uh, clear we can take you on a two to one um dive so we have two divers to one instructor so it's nice and it's a very personal um style of diving so that's another option that we you can do on the boat you know if you've never done it before 
it's an amazing feeling. It's like being in space, but you're in the water, obviously, because you're weightless underwater. So it's not just about what you see. It's actually quite a nice feel to be under the water and, and scuba diving. Yeah. So I guess that's, in a nutshell, that's, uh, that's the two. And I guess my husband and I, it's a locally family-owned and operated uh, company. So my husband and I have actually worked on the boat for 20 years together as dive master, instructor and skipper. And so we're very passionate about looking after people and looking after the reef and our crew, we say, are our best asset. No, it sounds perfect, especially because everybody wants to experience the Great Barrier Reef, but not all people have like scuba dived before. So it's great to be able to have the opportunity to snorkel or even purchase like a beginner scuba dive. Uh, and so you don't have to have all the certificates and, and things like that. It's, it's a really good tool that you're providing. Obviously, we're all about sustainability and looking, looking after the reef. And I think, you know, the reef has had a little bit of a, a bad media over the last few years, but the reef is looking beautiful, you know, and I think it's all, you know, everybody has to do the right thing, obviously. But I think that's the beauty of reef operators is that you can come on and get a real connection with the reef. We, you know, we employ, we've got master reef guides and all, in fact, all our, all our um, crew are trained on the reef and interpreting it. So it's really about interpreting it in the right way to the right person, because obviously showing a, a little kid around and showing somebody who might be interested in science around are two very different uh, populations, if you like. And I think it's all about connecting the, the right story to the right person. So they have a, a personal connection with the reef and therefore they obviously want to look after and protect it. And I think that's what we're all about. Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully more Australians will come up to Cairns um, and see the Great Barrier Reef is obviously one of the most famous things, sites that Australia has. So hopefully more Australians, even from Western Australia or Darwin, um, Northern Territory, will come over and experience one of your tours and see the amazing things that Australia holds. Yeah, no, I think that's, I mean, it's even like it's a likewise thing for us, even we're looking at things that we're a big, big international travellers and the moment, you know, we're thinking we want to give back as well. So we're also looking at places to visit. So I think it is that. And I think people, you know, who are wanting to go uh, on a holiday internationally, well, we are an international destination. So in a way, you're still going to get that international flavour on your doorstep. So I think that's what we really want to push, I guess, in our region. And we are warm <laughs> all year round. <laughs> <laughs> Beats New South Wales and Victoria. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for speaking to me today. Um, mm -hmm. I really hope people see this and all our followers see this and come and book onto your tour because um, it sounds amazing. So thank you so much for speaking to me. Very nice. Thank you, Fiona. You have a good day. And don't forget, you need to come out as well. <laughs> no, I do. I do. Thank you.